10 years ago, Barry resident Dennis Fleming came up with an idea. Barry North Common, which is considered the Veterans Park, and there are several memorials here, Civil War, World War II, Korea, Vietnam, and World War I. And I thought it fitting since 9-11 to honor our town's servicemen and women since 9-11 and all that perished on that day. Since then, Fleming has been trying to acquire 9-11 artifacts for a memorial. Six months ago, he finally received word from the New York, New Jersey Port Authority he had been cleared to receive materials from Ground Zero. I chose two subway rail lines that were the underground subway underneath the World Trade Center. Wednesday, Barry firefighters left the town at 4 in the morning to pick up the two rails. When they arrived back in Barry, they received a police and fire escort through the town. Being firefighters in the town of Barry, um, we have a close connection with you know, the, the 343 brothers that we lost down in, in New York. Uh, not only to mention the numerous lives that have been lost during the, the war following 9-11, um, I think it, it brings a piece of that history back, uh, something that people can you know, actually visually see and, and remember as to what happened on that day. Each rail weighs more than 1,100 pounds. They will be used as the focal points for the memorial. At this point, what I want to do with the rails is to stand them up vertically behind a stone monument to represent the actual Twin Towers from where those came from. And on the memorial, we'll list all the names of any Barry resident in service since 9-11. After 10 years of work, Fleming says he hopes that the memorial will be completed by next spring. My parents' day in infamy was Pearl Harbor. That's our generation of Pearl Harbor. 